Hello everyone out of YouTube, let's get started. Uh, we all know how a Tesla turbine works. And when ran in reverse, we know that if you were to run a Tesla turbine in reverse, which instead of blowing air and making it spin and the air blowing out that metal duct, if you have a direct drive and get it to spin without air, it will actually suck air in the middle and work in reverse and then blow air out towards the sides. So if we were to now make a pulse motor that is spinning and has the drill, the just like this, you take your discs and you drill your holes in the middle, but now you put your magnets along the edge and you get this to spin and you get it to spin incredibly fast and it will suck the air in and then carry it across the disc and then it will blow it out into the sides now this Tesla turbine I do believe is inside of a real working flying saucer and I do believe that you can get it to work with air and for every action there is a reaction now the action is the Tesla turbine is spinning in here with electromagnets along the edge getting it to spin therefore it's sucking the air in it's going up through the saucer and then blowing it out using the Bernoulli effect or the Coanda effect it's going to send that air and it's going to take the path of least resistance and blow it down and around the craft and then back under again and that is going to give it that toroidal flow. Uh, give me a second. There's a picture here. The turbine would therefore suck air out from the outer part of the ship, go up through the center of the ship, then come out the top right here, and the air would blow down again, and it would recollect. Now what about the slots on the edge of the ship? You can see this picture that I downloaded offline. Yes, it's just a toy, but I do believe that this is how you would steer it. These are all closed at all times. These air is coming down through those holes, down and around the ship, and then getting sucked back through it, creating a toroidal flow. Therefore, once it sucked enough air in there and started regenerating its own air it would need no air from the outside it would actually create a air field around the ship a vacuum effect and air would be covering the whole ship now like I said for every action there's a reaction the reaction would be this why air is flowing out and down and around the ship the electromagnets would be creating a current that would be doing the opposite with electromagnetic energy. Now you have the air flowing down and around the ship, but at the same time, it's collecting electromagnetism or free radicals, um, uh, protons that are in the air, in the mo and turning them into energy, and that energy is being dispersed throughout the entire ship too it's actually blowing energy down and that energy is being sucked in through the air traveling in through those holes while air is coming out electromagnetic flux or energy being collected is going through the ship carrying around that 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 big rotor that you have in the middle and then blowing that down um, this is how I think a uh, flying saucer would work it would be Partly air, it would be half air and half, um, half air and half electromagnetic energy. And these are just some pictures that I downloaded offline. I'm trying to, uh, go through them here to show you. Yes. And you've seen the pictures of the flying saucers. Those bubbles underneath there, I believe that that's where the big, um, pulse coils would go you'd have your electromagnetic coils right there that would be hooked up either to uh, sound wave 
generator or Bandini style Hall effect sensor, whatever, and it would pulse that big turbine that you have in there and get it spinning around and the air would be sucked up through the middle of the ship blown back down over the ship and then sucked up again now how would you steer it well all along the edge here there would be vents that you've seen on the pictures of the flying saucers those vents are closed at all time when you're ready to fly whatever direction you want to go that vent would open up now that air that's traveling down through here would get sucked directly back in and blow out around the top again creating that circle of air here so there would be a mini toroidal flow that would pull you in the direction that you would want to go and since this disc would be light as a feather because it would have an air pocket around it air would be circulating the ship getting sucked up and blown back out right over the top of the ship over and over again and some people may say well what if you fly over dirt water or dust won't it just suck it into there I tell you what at first this is what it's going to be doing to the air yes it will suck it up but as it keeps going you will see positively that it will be working on its own um, it'll be working with its with the the exhaust will also be the intake it'll blow right back into the ship and once it has that field around it it's going to create an anti-gravity field no it will not be sucking air in from the outside anymore into the ship it will be sucking air from the ship back into the ship therefore you possibly could even leave the planet because you would have an atmosphere bubble around the ship. I'm sorry that this video is not professional. I do not have a Windows Movie Maker program. If I did, it would have come out a little better. But I've been dying to put something out there just to get some feedback on this because um, I, a lot of people don't think that air is the key here, but I do. Between the Tesla turbine the Tesla coil and um, putting that all together and a few pickup coils and um, you got it I mean and I really do believe that this could be ran off of an amplifier like you would use in your car and you would just hook up a sine wave or square wave um, program I have one in my phone of just hertz different frequencies that you can send through your phone and they would amplify that sound instead of hooking up speakers to the amplifier those would be hooked up to your power coils that would trigger the rotor and you and the faster that rotor goes the less resistance it's going to get because once it's using its own wind and not sucking in extra wind from the outside it's going to create less and less and less resistance taking less and less power to turn that turbine until you would have almost a zero point energy and please uh, I'm looking forward to your feedback on what you think about this thank you